What's going on, you guys? It's Tulo here, number two player currently in the game, first in the world, the World Series, and I'm gonna be the show 21. I'm gonna give you guys a guide on how to make World Series consistently. So this has been a highly requested video, so I'm gonna come through with it. This is gonna be a Hall of Fame game. I'm gonna be showing you guys, right? I made a video on it in the past, but for this sake of this video, it fits the tip. So Hall of Fame. I didn't have Chipper. This was a diamond full fully decked out live series squad so it's similar to what you guys be rocking with so let's get into it what you need to do if you want to make it consistently so first thing is obviously patience you got to wait for your right pitch because there's just so many fools who are cracked now it's crazy like you see 18 17 games where everyone can hit on hall of fame so you got to make sure you're not giving out free outs that's the gimme that's the first off and second off if you're starting off right as we just go oppo JD, as you're starting off, make sure you're ready for the rank season push, right? So what you want to do is grind up, get your team up right, don't worry about when the season ends, and then make your push. I just went for it for the content, you know what I mean? But I don't recommend going for it quickly. Get your team right, right? and then push you know what i mean because one thing with going for world series you cause yourself unnecessary frustration when you don't have the team of of the best capability like you don't grind it out and you get frustrated and that'll ruin it so make sure you're grinding it out and then hopping in the ring second uh third thing you want to do right is you basically want to limit the damage every inning so you're gonna give up runs don't get frustrated i'm telling you hall of fame if you get up to the 800s especially fairly early on you're gonna give up a shit ton of runs just focus on limiting the damage you know what i mean just limit the damage all right so another way you can make stubs is you can flip the market look for diamond equipment look for all that find ways to get your stubs up so if you need to upgrade you're like hey i can grab familia hey i can grab lindor keep on upgrading your team that'll help out going towards your world series push right and then okay so i got to world series with two losses right and i'll tell you guys right now that's just simply because of my custom practice if you go back to videos and watch my pci placement video to help you a lot right it'll help you a lot the pci placement video so for sure check that out and also what i like to do right it's just it comes with patience just wait for something you can damage man wait for something you can damage and yeah so that are that's like the main tips in case you haven't seen my stuff yet just letting you guys know what i approach wise what i like to kind of preach all right enough of that bullpen management so in bullpen management you gotta be wary about when you're bringing in your pitchers because i know a lot of people that it comes back to bite them so if you're in a blowout right if you you guys got to get to the situation where you're like oh i can out hit this fool you know what i mean so the first if there's a pink shitting opportunity with a guy in second and third leave the picture in you know what i mean if you're like i'm better than this dude you guys got to get to that point you guys got to put the time in and custom practice and be like i'm better than this dude i'm gonna ride out my picture right i'm gonna ride out my picture and save my bullpen you're up four you're like damn i think i've been getting hold on the lineups you know what i mean i'll save my bullpen half of the game is recognizing your situation and recognizing where you're in in the ball game you know what i mean as we're just going crazy right now bullpen management is huge starter management is huge to make sure you can make that huge push because you're gonna get a game where you match up against a sweaty right on hall of fame and you got to be loaded so obviously when you need to dump your pen do it but when you don't need to make sure to be cautious with it all right and then one other thing i want to say right is if you can save pink shaders for later in the game like i right so for example if i have soda soda's obviously in this case batting lead off but right now as i'm speaking i'm at a thousand rating soda's on my bench so i would save soda for later in the game use your glitchy bench bats right later on you can and i mean you'll have probably if you have soda or seager on the bench i mean you can't go wrong if you put a good swing they'll both go out but seager obviously has i mean sorry not seager soda has a better stand so stuff like that is very important to have success it's really important 
All right, so five minutes into the video, we basically went through the, honestly, if you watch my videos, you're like, yeah, I already know this stuff, whatever. All right, but hopefully it helps some of you guys out. A very important thing is you guys got to make the switch to pinpoint. I can't stress this enough because you can go from a borderline World Series player or playing a million, like, like a lot of games to get to World Series. I'm telling you, man. A big part of it is not having consistent pitching. Last year, okay, there's an excuse. The pitching was ass, pure analog meter, whatever. They didn't reward. Pinpoint literally rewards everything. You know what I mean? So you guys got to get in that pinpoint because if you're not the greatest hitter, you can still make up for it. If you get perfect, it goes right where you want it. You can limit damage. That's why on this run, right, these, I have 19 right now, last year it would be like 19, 18, I'm not even joking, but I limit him to 8 runs, 15 hits, whatever, limit, 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 he was a good hitter, but I have an 11 run lead, that's all it's about, so pinpoint is so important, man, and look at this, we're just crushing pitches right now, because I'm just feeling comfortable in the box, you know what I mean, I'm just chill, comfortable in the box, Hall of Fame's easy. You guys can't be wasting outs. I can't stress that enough. So, like I said, you won't be, like, you can't expect if you're starting out or trying to get good to be putting up 20 runs, but take baby steps, and you guys got to put the work in the custom practice. Got to put the work in and stay consistent. Okay, another thing quickly. Say if you're at 700, whatever, you're like 3-0 and on the day, and you're 744, Know when to stop playing. Don't be pushing yourself and saying, oh, I'm going to, I think I can get to 800, 830. Trust me, I even know when to stop. Make sure you guys know when to stop playing. You got to know yourself because it's very important. In the World Series, you can get into hell of droughts. You're facing goons, you know what I mean? Even a player like me, I know when to calm down. I'm like, hey, you know what, I'm not feeling it. But I know a lot of my friends, right, who play this game, they like win a game by one where they're not hitting their best and then they push it and then they're like bro i can't i'm getting in a slump it's more than the game you gotta know when you're hot when you're not hop in there legend friendly with somebody you know get it popping right and then if you're feeling it play if you're not feeling it chill out you know what i mean so it's more than the gameplay some of you sometimes you guys like force play when you're not really in the groove of things and you're not really uh, locked in. So that's basically really important, honestly. Uh, knowing when to play. Another thing is, on Hall of Fame levels, bro, offense over defense. If if you're building up a budget squad, get Soto. You know, get you need guys who can hit tanks. This is a tanks game. It doesn't it's not relying on one guy throwing a hose out at third right he gets one runner out no trust me i went to world series first i know that offense 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 power 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 it should be your first priority that should be your first priority if you get defense great but players like soto and stuff like that you guys got to pick up like look i had jt real mudo out here raking you know what i mean so yeah you guys just got to stay in rhythm stay patient you know what i mean use pinpoint please and yeah if you guys want to use wag circles i've seen a lot of people switching to strike zone high i'm still personally on strike zone and i like it a lot so yeah i wanted to combine all my tips in one video make world series consistently listen it's more than the gameplay you gotta know when you're hot you gotta know when you're not especially if you don't think you can you can not be cracked all day you know you can play with your play style Know when you can play. Know when you're locked in. That's one thing of recognizing yourself. All right. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Let's hit 4K. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.